took so long to create this system so this is water directly coming from the tank it is going into a sediment filter from that it is going into a cheap 12 volt pump uh, booster pump sort of and uh, i'm just using dc 5 volt with a small connector to you know make it uh, increase from 5 volt to 12 volt i will probably add a bigger one there because that is heating quite a lot and that water is going into these little things you see and the whole room i don't know if it's visible on camera it's a lot of mists a lot of mist i think <laughs> you, you can see sort of here here i have at, at least i have been working on it for about a week now and it kept leaking nothing was working i couldn't figure out how it all worked <sighs> but ultimately after so many hours so many <laughs> days of just failure it is finally working and i am hoping that due to these all the mushroom will start growing again okay so those mushrooms completely stopped growing as the weather changed to a bit hot uh, earlier when uh, it was raining a lot so they were giving big oyster mushrooms this size big every few days and now they completely stop due to high temperatures and low humidity i tried adding these misting nozzles these are excellent for a closed so when it's a spawning stage, so these mushrooms are in the spawning stage. These are excellent, okay? Because the room is closed, and you know, then since the room is closed, they do not run away because these are very tiny particles. If there is a little air, they just, they just leave the room. So I couldn't use that there. I tried to using it, but I couldn't use it. And for ultimately, I had to make set up this system. Now it is actually making this a lot humid, so I will add another Arduino STM32 or another small microcontroller here to make it run for only some time until the humidity uh, increases to a particular limit and then stop it. For now it is connected to main power, so whenever there is no light it will turn off by itself. But yeah, just wanted to share that.